Concentration cells are the cells where anode and cathode both are made up of same metal and are dipped in a solution of different concentrations. So this is a definition which we have already discussed and we have discussed the reactions of concentration cells and the EMF of concentration cells in our earlier discussions. Let us see how to solve the problems on concentration cells. Calculate the cell potential of the following cell Ag, Ag plus of concentration 0 0.001 molar which is connected to a salt bridge Ag plus of concentration 0.5 m molar slash Ag. So here in order to determine which is anode and cathode the main thing is concentration. So lesser the concentration acts as anode higher concentration acts as cathode. I repeat lower concentration electrolyte acts as anode higher concentration electrolyte acts as cathode. If the cell representation is given it's very clear left hand side of salt bridge acts as anode right hand side of salt bridge acts as cathode. If cell representation is not given only the concentrations are given then lower concentration electrolyte acts as anode higher concentration electrolyte acts as cathode the given data concentration of ag plus is 0 0.001 molar concentration of ag plus 0.5 molar as i told you earlier lower concentration acts as anode note it down concentration of Ag plus 0.5 molar higher concentration therefore it acts as cathode. Why I am asking you to note it down because it will be easier during substitution. The electrode reactions which occur in the above representation are at anode Ag gives Ag plus an electron. So at cathode Ag plus undergoes reduction by accepting the above electron and undergoes reduction to give Ag. The net reaction is 0. Why cell reactions are important even though they are not asked in the question because number of electrons lost during oxidation and gained during reduction is equals to n that is n is number of electrons lost during oxidation and number of electrons gained during reduction is n. So here n is 1. So we know that EMF of concentration cell is given by 0 0.0591 by n log concentration of cathodic species by concentration of anodic species or concentration of higher concentration and lower concentration. So E equals 0 0.0591 and what is n? Number of electrons lost during oxidation number of electrons gained during reduction it is 1 by 1 log concentration of cathodic species. So what is cathode? 0.5 substitute that and what is anode? 0 0.001 so substitute that. When you calculate this we get EMF E equals 0.1595 volts that is the answer. Next problem calculate the EMF of the concentration cell where copper rods are dipped in 0.1 molar copper sulfate solution and 1 molar copper sulfate solution respectively give the chemical reactions and represent the cell. So earlier case this cell representation was given and it was easier to determine which was anode and cathode but here they have not given the cell representation so it's little difficult task. So write down the given data Cu2 plus concentration is 0.1 molar and Cu2 plus concentration is 1 molar. So as I told you earlier lower concentration is anode note it down higher concentration is cathode. Let us write the cell representation Cu that is copper slash Cu2 plus 0.1 molar this anodic concentration salt bridge left hand side of salt bridge is anode right hand side of the salt bridge is 
cathode. Cu2 plus concentration of cathode as 1 molar slash Cu. Let us write the reactions. At anode, copper undergoes oxidation to give you Cu2 plus and 2 electrons. At cathode, same Cu2 plus ions undergoes reduction by accepting 2 electrons to give Cu. If cell representation is given, cell reactions can be written. If cell reactions, if you write, you can write this cell representation. For instance, Cu, write Cu. Instead of slash, write a RMR. So what you have written here, Cu2 plus, write Cu2 plus here. How do you get 2 plus here? By losing 2 electrons, write 2 electrons here. So next, at cathode. So what is cathode here? Cu2 plus here, Cu2 plus. Plus, how many electrons are lost here? 2 electrons, write 2 electrons. Instead of slash, write an arrow mark. So what do you get here? Cu, write that Cu. So the representation is given, it is easier to write the reactions. And net reaction is 0. And we know that E equals 0 0.0591 by N log concentration of cathodic species by concentration of anodic species. So, E equals 0 0.0591 by N, N is 2. So, log concentration of cathodic species was present 1 molar. Substitute that one here. And what is anodic species concentration? It is 0 0.1. Substitute here. Calculate it 0 0.0591 by 2 and log of 1 by 0 0.1. Calculate. So once we calculate, we get E equals this particular value. Represent a cell formed by coupling two electrodes immersed in copper sulphate. Concentration of Cu2 plus in one electrode is 100 times more than other. Write cell reactions and calculate cell potential at 300 Kelvin. Let us consider concentration of Cu2 plus to be x molar. Then concentration of Cu2 plus of another electrolyte is 100x molar. So the cell can be represented as follows. Cu slash Cu2 plus x molar salt bridge Cu2 plus 100x molar Cu. So since obviously x molar is lesser than 100x. Hence x acts as anodic concentration, 100x acts as cathodic concentration. The reactions are as follows. At anode, copper undergoes oxidation to liberate Cu2 plus ions and 2 electrons. At cathode, Cu2 plus accepts 2 electrons to give Cu. The net reaction is 0. We know that E equals 2.303 RT by NF log concentration of C2 by C1. Here, we cannot use the common equation E equals 0 0.0591 by N log concentration of C2 by C1. Why? Because 0 0.0591 is applicable at temperature T equals 25 degrees Celsius. Since here temperature is given as 300 Kelvin, we are supposed to use this equation. So here E equals 2.303 R T nf log c2 by c1 so here you can substitute for t as 300 kelvin so 2.03 at 300 kelvin r is 8.314 f is 96500 n is number of electrons lost during oxidation and gained during reduction that is 2 c2 is cathodic concentration 100x and the concentration C1 is X. So by what happens? X, X gets cancelled. 100X by 1X is log 100. So while calculating all these things, so EMF of the above given cell is 0 0.0595 volts. Next, EMF of the cell, silver dipped in silver nitrate of concentration C1 molar coupled with silver nitrite of concentration 0.2 molar in which silver rod is dipped is 
of 0.8 volts calculate c1 of the cell so here the emf of the cell is given we are supposed to concentrate we are supposed to calculate the concentration of c1 that is anodic concentration silver nitrate concentration is c1 anode silver nitrate concentration 0.2 molar cathode the reactions are anodic reaction silver undergoes oxidation to give ag plus an electron cathode ag plus accepts the electron liberated to anode to give silver the net reaction is zero emf of the above cell can be determined by e equals 0 0.0591 by n log concentration of c2 by c1 the given data E is given as 0 0.8 volts 0 0.0591 by n n here is 1 log concentration of c2 c2 is 0 0.2 molar c1 is unknown 0 0.8 this 0 0.0591 comes to denominator equals log concentration of 0 0.2 by concentration of c1 Anything we write in big brackets is called as concentrations. 0.8 divided by 0 0.0591 is 13.536. So when the log comes to the left hand side, it becomes anti-log. Anti-log of 13.536 equals 0 0.2 by C1. Now the question arises, how to calculate that anti-log of 13 0.536 so it's very simple take your calculator first press shift log then enter the value 13.536 that gives anti-log of this value this is nothing but 3.4355 into 10 to the power 13 equals 0 0.2 by C1. Our aim is to calculate C1. Just cross multiply this, we get C1 equals 0 0.2 divided by 3.4355 into 10 to the power 13. When we simplify this, we get the concentration C1 as 5.82 into 10 to the power minus 15 molar. EMF of the cell AG, AGNO3, 0 0.0083 molar salt bridge, AGNO3 x molar silver is 0 0.074 volts at 298 Kelvin. Calculate value of X and write cell reactions. This problem is similar to the previous problem which we have we have already discussed so emf of this cell is given as 0 0.074 volts so in the cell representation anodic concentration is given as 0 0.0083 molar and co cathodic concentration is x molar we are supposed to determine the reactions which occur at anode and cathode are at anode Silver undergoes oxidation to give silver ion and an electron. At cathode, Ag plus accepts the electron to give silver. The net reaction is zero. We know that E equals 0 0.0591 by N log concentration of C2 by C1. So E for the above cell is given as 0 0.074 equals 0 0.0591 so n that is number of electrons lost is 1 gained is 1 therefore n is 1 log concentration of c2 that is cathodic species concentration is x molar substitute as same c2 you can substitute either as x or c2 next concentration of c1 that is, anodic species concentration is 0 0.0083 molar substituted. 0 0.074 divided by 0 0.0591 
equals log concentration of C2 by concentration of 0 0.0083. 0 0.074 by 0 0.0591 is 1.25211. So when the log term comes to the left hand side, it becomes anti log. As earlier, to calculate anti log, press shift log, enter the value 1.25221. We get the anti log of this value as 17.869 equals C2 by 0 0.0083. Our aim is to determine the concentration of C2. Therefore, cross multiply these values. We get the value of C2 as 0.1483 molar. A cell is obtained by combining two cadmium electrodes immersed in cadmium sulfate solutions of 0.1 molar and 0.5 molar at 25 degrees Celsius. Give the cell reactions, cell representation and EMF of the cells. The cell can be represented as CD slash CD2 plus of concentration 0.1 molar since it is lower concentration. Salt bridge CD2 plus 0.5 molar slash CD. The reactions occurring at anode and cathode are cadmium undergoes oxidation to liberate cadmium. 2 plus plus 2 electrons. At cathode, cadmium undergoes reduction accepting 2 electrons and gives cadmium. Net reaction is 0. We know that E equals 0 0.0591 by N log concentration of C2 by concentration of C1. 0 0.0591 by 2. 2 is number of electrons lost during oxidation and gained during reduction. C2 cathodic species concentration that is 0.5 molar. C1 anodic species concentration that is 0.1. When substitute all these things and simplify we get E as 0.2955 log 5. And simplify this we get the EMF of the cell as 0.0206 Olds. Thank you.